we need to have a serious talk, guys. Um, I'm probably going to lose a lot of friends, followers, subscribers for this, but this has been on my heart to make for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and say what I want to say. Okay. So, I'm a female, legit, born and raised, and if you're a female who has any type of social media, you probably get a lot of creepy guys who add you, comment, and unfortunately, you know, for us females nowadays, it's a given, it's something we have to deal with. And I'm, just, I'm not okay with it anymore. You know, I'm in my mid thirties, I'm married, I have four kids, you know, yeah, you know, all of us girls post pictures that, you know, with our filters and that we think are cute, you know, cause we want our friends to see how, how, how good our makeup looks and how cute we are. And, you know, we post it for ourselves. You know, they say women put on makeup, not for men, but to impress other women. And that's me, that's fully me. It's always been me. I have been gaining a lot of friends and followers, you know, with my viral video where I test mascara against pepper spray, which I'm so grateful for. But at the same time, I don't need some dude adding me on Facebook that I have no mutual friends with going back and liking pictures of me from literally 10 years ago. For those of you who know me in person and have seen my pictures online, I don't look like that in person. This is this is what I look like. And even then, I got a little bit of a, you know, filter going on and some light to blur out, you know, the fine lines and wrinkles. But I, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of dudes sending me messages uh, hey, you single or hi, what's up? I just want to let you know you're beautiful. It's not cute. I, I don't I don't know of any, you know, couples who've been married for so long. And it's like, oh, yeah, he liked a picture of me from 10 years before he knew me. And now we're happy and married. It doesn't happen. That's not what Facebook is for. The people you may know and suggested friends are not sexy singles in your area. They're just people that you might know. And it's fine to add people you don't know to to chat with, to get to know, if you add me because you think I'm funny, that's so great. And if you send me a message or something saying, oh my God, this was so funny, or oh my God, you're a fucking idiot, I'm cool with that. I don't wanna be, you know, accosted on a daily basis by men I don't know. I'm done with it. I'm sorry, I'm just done with it. It, it creeps me out. I'll get a friend request and I'll accept it because like I said, I'm making all these videos and I think people want to network and get to know me. And a lot of people are sending me stuff and, you know, want to be in videos with me and that's great. Let's do it. Let's work together. But if I add you as a friend and then all of a sudden I get 10 notifications that Dan liked photo, Dan liked photo, Dan liked photo, Dan liked photo. If you're going to do all that investigating and looking back, you should see that I'm married. And I hate when they see that I'm married and they're like, I just want to let you know your husband's a lucky guy. Okay, well, thanks. If you want to see my videos and get to know me and comment on my stuff, that's great. Well, I mean, if you're ever looking for anything on the side, no. And if I was, it wouldn't be you. So stop. That's what I have to say about that. I'm sorry. I am absolutely done with the creepy guys. I'm done with it. it it's, the, it's the new age version of catcalling. And I'm fed up with it. I hate that just because I'm a female, I have to deal with it. I feel like, you know, if you post a picture online, it's like, well, you're asking for it. You shouldn't post a, you know, a highly airbrushed picture showing some skin and then get mad because all these dudes give you attention. Well, yeah, I can get mad at whatever I want to get mad at. And here's an even more unpopular opinion. I was going to make this in two separate videos, but honestly, today, for me, it's the same with the dudes I hate that I'm so jaded on it and it's a given I hate that but now I'm getting all these I used to not be concerned about getting a friend request from a female because I think oh they might know so and so that I've worked with before or someone said oh she's funny you should add her she posts funny stuff funny videos I was never worried about adding a female now I get all these females adding me I'm talking to an hour at a minimum and they're like oh hey this might sound strange, but if you want to post a link to my uh, unique paparazzi, it works, makeup by so-and-so, Mary Kay, the vitamins, the hemp stuff, the CBD stuff, you know, I'll give you a 20% discount. Let me tell you something, ladies. 
I think it's awesome that you have a side hustle. This is my, this is my side hustle. This is where I make extra money. And you know, yeah, I promote it and I send it to people I know and I understand that's how your business works. And if you are thriving on it, great. But you don't see Mary Kay salesman on Forbes 500. It's just, it's not lucrative. And honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and say what I'm thinking. I can just go sign up to sell it and get a better deal, better discount, better samples. Those companies make money off of you buying the products. I'm sorry. Some of the products are great. Like, honestly, the Unique Mascara is pretty decent. And um, some of the other stuff I've tried from other brands, they're pretty great. The paparazzi jewelry is cute for $5, some fake diamond earrings. That's awesome. But I'm so sick of being afraid to add people on Facebook because they are spamming me with shit they're selling. Like, I'm I, every I'm constantly scrolling through my timeline and I see all these women putting on makeup again they have no business putting on makeup well there's a comb Heather you have your 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 mug is beat Megan your mug is beat you know I, I love it but I don't it doesn't make me want to buy makeup from you you know I'm sorry when I see those I've been deleting them because I just I'm not a fan I know this is probably going to lose a lot of you probably a good majority of my female friends that are on here, but I'm just, I'm done with it. I'm sick of being accosted. It's like a new age pop-up. I have to worry about who I'm adding because they're going to just sell me shit or want me to share because I have a large group of friends. I have a large following on YouTube. I have a large, um, you know, community on my Facebook page. I, I don't want to share your pyramid scheme stuff. Now, if you have a legitimate small business, I'm into that. I think that's great. If you make t-shirts, if you, if you make something, hell yeah, I'm going to support you. I have a friend who used to make these really awesome crafts. If she was like, Hey, can you give me a shout out? Uh, you're damn right. I can, because you're fucking toiling away, whittling that shit out of whatever you do. And that's fine. But I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I don't, can we just agree to, to not to anymore? Leave your comments below. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Let's let's get into this. Let's have a civil debate about this issue. I want to hear your thoughts, opinions, concerns about the creepy dudes that are bothering people. And if you're a man and you get creepy women, let me hear about that because that's a whole other side that I'm not aware of. And the women who are selling the shit online. Let's talk about it. Uh.